care if you ever come back. Oh, Mom, I got your breakfast. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Oh, no. I was supposed to clean the Swinsons at eight o'clock. That is a very sick chicken. Well, they're not chickens. They're pigeons. I thought we could fry them. Where'd you get these? They're homers. <laughs> I thought you saw Homer to do. Yeah, I did, but it keeps coming back. These are homers, eggs. I thought Homer was a boy. Dad, I was never a very good namer. Why else would he give me a girl's name? How many times have I told you Francis is my father's name? Francis is not a girl's name. It's two. You want those soft-boiled or fried-like egg McPigeon? That is not funny, Francis. You put that poor bird's eggs back so she can take care of them. I gotta talk to you about something, Mom. Can't hear you, Francis. My name is Frank, and I gotta go to that thing downtown today. Will you give me a ride? Francis, I can't give you a ride today. Get some money. Bring home a pizza. I'll see you around eight. Yes? What is it? I'm running late. They told me to come see you? You're Francis Phillips? What shall I call you? Francis? Frank? What do you like? Whatever. You're late and I've got things to do. Take a chair. You think you have a problem, my friend? You have no problems. I see you've had trouble at home, and I know you have a principal who just soon you were out of her program. But frankly, I don't know why they sent you to me. I'm gonna tell you a story. These kids have problems. Grand theft, burglary, arson. And right now, in that courtroom, I have a boy who murdered another boy over a pair of fancy basketball shoes. And they couldn't be bothered going to school either. And now, door after door is closing in front of them. They have no key. Pretty soon, there's only one door left. And it's my door. My door is open. But you don't want to go through it. It's up to you. Stop worrying about yourself, Frank. Help someone else. Sometimes the person you save may be you. Stay on this side of the door, Frank. I want to. All right. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Julius Park.
Look at me when I speak to you. You behave like a child. Is that what you are? A child? Maybe what you need is another time out. Look at me when I speak to you. I think you are just plain spoiled. Now remember, Virgil, the expression is semper fidelis, not semper fi. Have a seat, Francis. I'll tell you you're here in just a moment. Miss Van, Francis Phillips is back. Truancy court? We'll see if you think you can mimic me in public again. Francis, go in and take a seat. B, where is his file? Mm -hmm. Never mind. I'll get it myself. What'd you do, Virgil? Have too much fun? Give me your court report, Francis. We have a problem, Francis. Frank. What? Nothing. What I have to say is simple. I just don't care anymore, Francis. The fact is, we have two weeks left in this school year, and you're not worth my time. We're going to push you through, Francis. I'm going to let you graduate from my school. You're not going to be my problem anymore. Ms. Van Bornger. Just show up, Francis. That's all you have to do. Now, the law says you have to be in school, and if you're not, you can't graduate. And if I have to see your face next year, you will not be a happy camper. Important. I can make your life very uncomfortable, Francis. Now, I see that your mother hasn't bothered to attend any of our truancy lectures, nor has she responded to our letters. In my opinion, you're an excellent candidate for state custody. Now, whatever happened to the uh, social worker we sent? My dad kicked her out. How mature. Your father's now out of the picture, is that my understanding? Yeah, he left. Do you know where? No. It's just as well. I think you'll be better off. Maybe we can just focus on your problems now. I lost my mother when I was a young woman, and she left me nothing. And I got along just fine. Well, it's the warning bell. Where are you supposed to be, Francis? Jim. Get there. I trust you're in the proper attire? Yeah. Good. Aren't you afraid your parrot might fly away? Virgil would never leave his cage without permission. He knows the rules, as I trust you now do. It seems you are now late, but I'm sure it's for the last time. Francis, I'll be watching you. That's all, Francis. Smart bird. B, come in and get his file. I don't think we'll be seeing Francis again. Did you bring it? Yeah, it wasn't easy. Let me see it. Five bucks and he's yours. Five bucks? Last time was only three. Well, this one's way better. That's what you said last time, and that one flew off. Well, that's because you're done. This one won't fly off. Hey, when are we gonna shoot in the barn again? We can't. My old lady won't buy no more bullets. Maybe we should do something in there. What are you doing here? Francis, I want my bird. She's French. My bird is gone, and you know where it is. Maybe it flew out the window. That bird does not fly. I don't know anything about this. Frank did it all by himself. He said it was his... Where's the knapsack? It's all right, Virgil. Everything's going to be all right. I'm here. Silence! Now, 
you listen to me, you little... You little... Truant! If that bird is damaged in any way... I didn't touch your bird, Miss Van Boren. Was it the bird or the gold band? I'll have my bird or I'll have you. Do you understand? Now go out there and find him! Maybe take a bird. You're, you're in big trouble, Frank. What are you going to do? Daryl. Lepsis, chrysanthemum, a pedulosum. Well, not astra for astra, eh? Oh, look what you found. I forgot what a sense of humor you had. <laughs> Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. <laughs> Frank? <laughs> Please, Louise, you startled me. Here, I think these would look better on you. Beautiful dreamer, Excuse wake me? unto me. Starlight and dewdrops. I've lost something, something. something for thee. Sounds of the world. Can you help me? How can I help you? I gotta go. Oh, we don't know where he's going, but he's on his way. We <laughs> don't know where he's going, but he's on his way. Ain't she something? What do you need, kid? I'm looking for a parrot. Come on with me. Doris! Let's go! Hey, Tony, who's the chooch? Ah, the bird lady thinks he's a choocho bella. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, kid? I'm looking for a parrot. I got gabba, gabba, gold, genoa, olives, five kinds, provolone, but a parrot, I don't got. <laughs> no, I'm trying to find a parrot. Hey, this looks like a pet shop. Parrot? What kind of person eats a parrot? No, it, it's a big green parrot with a, a gold band and speaks Latin and can't fly. Hey, did you ask the bird lady? You know, the lady you was just talking to. If anybody'd know, she'd know. The lady in the alley? Yeah, you know, she's around here all the time. She's our best customer. You know, she's rich. Now, every soup kitchen, every shelter, we deliver, she pays. On time. She seemed a bit crazy. I gotta talk to her. She's gone. Where'd she go? With the Episcopalian. <laughs> no, with the Episcopalian church down the street. What for? They're doing some blessing thing for the animals. Oh, hey, wait a minute, kid. Here, she wanted me to fill this up. You give it to her. What's in it? Oh, well, you know, bird seed. <laughs> you know, I do it for her. She thinks we run a pet shop. <laughs> hey, Napolitan! You forgot your glasses! Where am I going? Go down to the end of the street, take a left, go a couple of miles. Thanks. Hey, come back when we can fatten you up. You're too skinny. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
telly guys than me. It's about the bird. And now, dear Lord, let us bless these animals that are a part of God's creation and our good stewardship. Oh, May we begin the could blessing? you bring me my seats from the deli? In a world that cannot hold or love unlimited life. Bingo, Verge. We thank you, God, for these animals and for the joy that they bring as friends and companions. What are they doing? We thank you, God, Blessing for these the animals. animals. Doris, is that you? Is it us? Oh, what fun. All right, hold out your hand. And what is our friend's name? My friend's name is Francis. Francis. The Lord watch over our servant, Francis. And remember another Francis who gave praise to you, Lord, for all of your creatures. In a world that cannot hold or love unlimited life, we thank you for this celebration of God through these creatures of God. Doris. Good morning. My name is Mr. Nance. I'm your substitute teacher for Mr. Johnson. Today's subject is the Constitution, a living document. How many of you know why it's called the living document? It's a living document because every day our congressmen and representatives work to make sure it's current and applicable to our daily lives. They're constantly improving and refining these documents. I didn't tell her anything. But you're hating it, man. She called the cops. Something about a gold band. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't even touch your stupid book. Yeah, what's this? You're dead. Mr. Nance, please send Daryl Anderson and Francis Phillips to my office. Now. Daryl Anderson, Francis Phillips, to Miss Van Boren's office now. Thanks a lot, pal. He'll be okay. You'll see. It's not your problem. Where are you going? Go. Yeah. Go. Oh. Oh. just weren't meant to fly, Francis. You are one of them. No evidence of the bird has been found. The boy was not seen pulling the fire alarm, although there is a good deal of circumstantial evidence suggesting that he did. 
This feather, which you seem obsessed with, has never materialized. And the search of the barn, which I reluctantly authorized, produced no evidence of any particular wrongdoings on Frank's part. Now, the investigators did find the shell of a desert tortoise, an endangered species, and numerous other cages and paraphernalia related to hunting and poaching in particular. Those have nothing to do with Frank. Those are his fathers. Like father, like son. At any event, the Division of Wildlife Services has impounded those items and articles they consider questionable. You mean to tell me that's all you're going to do? In this country, Miss Van Borens, we do not incarcerate children for the sins of the father. Pity. What I have is a boy with a woman's purse filled with sunflower seeds who may have pulled a fire alarm, period. That miscreant has done something with my bird, a valuable bird. Who knows what's happened to my mother's gold band? At the very least, he should be placed in state custody. Princess is a good boy. You don't know. I know plenty about your good boy. Please don't take him from me. He's all I've got. I'm trying. We're trying. This is my decision. The boy will be removed from your program for the 10 remaining days of school. Well, at least that's something. But, Your Honor, I can't be with him. I work all day. And for the remaining school calendar and continuing through the summer, Francis will be supervised by our community work service program. Right now, we have available uh, painting fire hydrants for the water department, groundskeeper, parks department, caretaker at the animal shelter. I don't believe this. The animal thing? That's like putting an alcoholic in a liquor store. Ms. Van Borens, I have registered your concerns. With all due respect, Your Honor, you're making a big mistake. That was a very wise choice, Mrs. Phillips. I'll call Ray Whitney, who heads the animal shelter. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate it. The one-way door is closing, Frank. Keep your foot in it. What do you mean? When I see you sitting there with that hat on, instead of seeing what a wonderful boy you could become, I see your father. What's wrong with that? It's just not what I wanted for you. Take off the hat, Francis. Your father won't be coming back. Why? Why can't he come back? I didn't say can't. I said won't. He's living in Kansas. Sorry, Frank.
Got it. Sure? Yeah. I can see she's very delicate, Mrs. Portner. What if something should happen to her out here? Nothing is going to happen to her. If anything happens to I, her... Nothing is going to happen to her. If anything happens to her... Phoebe, come and sit in Ray's office, and you can sit here. Oh, thank you, my dear. Uh, John, will you take Phoebe into Ray's office? Oh, hi, can I help you? Uh, I'm Francis Phillips. I'm looking for a guy named Ray. Francis? Oh, I thought you'd be a girl. I know. I'm not. I'm supposed to help him? Okay, uh, he's in there. Just follow me. Francis Frank. Frank. Do you have any pets? Why, you want to buy a pigeon? Where do you go to school? I'm sort of between schools right now. So what's your name? Pia. Pia. Nice name. Hey, your new helper Francis is here. She's a boy. Look, lady, I'm gonna go over this one more time. We're keeping the bird because the owner was involved in the same accident as the bird. No, no gold band. Hold on, I'll check again. Hold on. I'll be with you in a second, kid. Definitely no gold band. Lady, listen, this parrot is one sick puppy. He can't even speak English, much less Latin. I am the supervisor. Now, listen, this bird is not leaving here unless A, the owner gets well and comes and claims the bird, or B, the owner dies, in which case the bird goes up for adoption. Lady, you must be thinking about a different bird, huh? You are so welcome. He won't take it, kid. Something wrong with his guts. The vet says there isn't, but there is. Well, I'll be. Would you look at that? Ray, we're ready for the Sharpe. Hey, you know, you may make it to see another dawn. Ray. Kid, you got some touch. Ray, we're waiting. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm ugly, but I'm not deaf. Uh, hey, Francis, take the Sharpe. Welcome over to the clinic, will you? Sharpe? That is a Sharpe. Francis. Francis. Hey, you mind if I call you Frank? Uh-uh. We're gonna get along fine. All right, I want you to take these dogs out and exercise in here. Okay. Here you go. Watch. Don't let them tug on your leash. Please. All right. All right. Thank you. And don't let them tug on you. You hear me? I want to hear some paws Just the way you like them. Sunny side up, crisp on the edges. Oh, perfect. Ta-da. Oh, am I dreaming? Honey, are you sick? No, I'm good. Here, eat. 
Don't want to start the day on an empty stomach. Well, thank you, Francis. Oh, no, oh, I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Uh, how's the dog walking going? Oh, it's going great. Race says I got the touch. Yeah? Hey, Mom. What? The person who cooks doesn't have to do the dishes. I have been waiting for you. Where's Ray? They're not going to let me have my bird. It's not your bird. There's no band. How convenient for you. I didn't take it. Silence! If you think for one minute this juvenile game you're playing will deprive me of what's mine, you're very mistaken. Francis, just return the gold band, and they'll give me my bird. The bird's really sick or something. The reverter will be all right. Just tell them that you took the band, and your problems with school, the judge, me, will all be behind you. It's not your bird. Yes, this is my bird. You're concerned that I'm not... Where's my parrot? Excuse me, your... The parrot is with Ray in the vet. What happened? Ray tried to feed him a yam. He choked. Uh, he bit Ray. They're in the examining room. Hi. Yes. No, oh, I'm sorry. I can't get up. Ooh. Mm. Oh, stop. Now take it easy. Easy, easy, oh, will you? Stop. Hi, Frank. Say hello to Miss Ursula Minsky. Perhaps the best veterinarian it has ever been my pleasure to know. Perhaps? Hi. Hello, Frank. Easy. Well, Ray, if you were an old dog, I might have to give you a few stitches, but since you're just an old goat. Well, I'll tell you what. That bird nails me again. He's going to go to California. Uh, Frank, don't let Ray lick that. And if he does or starts to get after himself, put one of these on him. <laughs> Listen to me. You bite me once more, and this old bird dog is gonna bite you back. You hear me? I think you finally met your match, Ray. Yeah, I think I have, too. Here, listen, maybe he'll take it from you. Go ahead, try. Try. Well, I'll be. You know what? You do have a touch. You gonna make it? Just keep feeding him. Keep Ray from biting him. Will he ever be right? He'll never fly. How come? Hard to say. Too old, wings clipped. Probably got taken from the wild too young. Never learned. It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. But if I had my guess, I'd say somebody bit him. Prentice is here. Please, send him in. Mr. Prentice. Sven Barnes? Please, sit down. Thank you for coming. You read my report? I did. As you know, I wouldn't dream of circumventing the system. But this ridiculous children's court judge is clearly incompetent. The Phillips boy is a thief, a truant, a liar, and if that weren't enough, a potential danger. You simply do not walk around pulling fire alarms, endangering students' lives, and then get away scot-free. Miss Van Borns, there's nothing I can do. What did you say? Judge Bartlett is a very well-respected jurist, and juvenile court records are confidential, protective. I understand your frustration, but as legal counsel for the district, I have to tell you that the facts in this folder are circumstantial. I mean, there's nothing here that would warrant going over Bartlett's head. Mr. Prentice, you are either very brave or very stupid. Excuse me? To waste my time with nothing. B will show you up. But if you just reconsider... Good afternoon, Mr. Prentice. Hey, Frank. We got an auto around here somewhere? Checked out about an hour ago. That's why I'm doing maid service. See, I pretend it's a motel. Everybody here is on a trip. A motel, huh? Yeah, I never got to stay at one. My dad said I could once when we went to California, but he ended up not taking me. You don't want to go to California anyway. I'm tanning here. 
She drives the truck out of Laramie. Works nights. And Lorraine? Well, she had some bubble trouble on the four lane. Waiting for a part from Denver. And Alto here. Well, Alto's just plain tired. Sorry, Alto. What's going on? Some of your friends, they just gotta go. What do you mean? Come here, pussy. We gotta euthanize it. Room 40. It's the toughest part of what I gotta do. That's why I call it going to California. Don't look so tough. Why don't you let me help? You got a hurt finger. It's my job. It's my motel. Okay. All those others with the yellow cards, call them, okay? Okay. Hey, Betty. Guess what? You just want a trip to... Hey, Ray, tell him where. Disneyland. Hey, Ray, you want me to take the dogs yet? I'll get Pierre to do it. All right, I got two hours. Why don't you go on home, huh? I mean, go, go. Go do what boys do. Okay, Ray, take it easy. Look, why don't you go ride your bike, huh? I mean, go, go, go throw rocks in a stream. Well, can I take Teagle the Beagle with me? She can keep up and I'll bring her home tomorrow. Frank, look, it's a beautiful day, huh? Go ride your bike, huh? Go on, get out of here, go. How are you doing today? What seems to be the problem? Ducks! Ducks. That's a problem. They're Ducks! The oh, train. those noisy little beggars. The boys in the neighborhood. all over the place. Rocks. And messy, yes, too. The, Can't even go out and get my newspaper and warm my bare feet. Say, don't just, Where are I don't the ducks? I, they're down I, the drain. What drain? I don't see any ducks any place. Oh, they're they're down down the say, hey, 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 where are hey, the ducks? ducks. The what drain. ducks? I don't see any ducks. I can't even hear them now. Oh, it sounds wonderful out here in those ducks. They're always talking about your ducks. I'm sick of those ducks. I went those ducks and... Ducky, hi. You lost your babies, huh? There they are. Can you see them? Give me a hand here. Can you get down there? Yeah. Watch it, it's uh, yeah. Hold on to the pole. What do I do with them all? Just send them to Papa's net. Oh, there's a bunch. Looks like we got a big catch here. Come on. Go on to Mama. Now, go on. Run to your Mama, huh? <laughs> here it comes. You're gonna see your mama soon. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You cute little thing. Look at you. Be there. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Hi, little ducky. You cute little thing. You're gonna be with your mama soon. Yes, you are. Here you go. Oh, yes, mama. You did it, right? Ray, I just saw the lady who owns that parrot. That's impossible. She's probably still in the hospital. Wait a minute, you're not thinking about that gold band lady with the bird that talks Shakespeare, are you? She's a nutcase. I got rid of her. Raymond, there's a hit and run on 1942 South Fraser. It's a dog with a broken leg. Can you pick up? 
I got it. Listen, I'm gonna drop Frank off first. You know, people ought to learn to fence their yards. Frank, listen, when you get through washing up, on the back of the door of my office is some scrubs and an old shirt, and you can change into that. I'm gonna go pick up that hit and run. Hey! Listen, Frank, when I, uh, when I get back, I gotta talk to you uh, something about the animals, okay? Okay, Ray. By the way, you did a good job with those ducks. Boy, say, doomed ducklings. Oh, it was great, guys. You should have been there. There must have been a hundred people just watching, helpless, as Frank and his trusty assistant Ray saved the eight lucky survivors. They were all so concerned. Mother Duck promises to name all her children Frank. Yes. 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 Otto's going to California unless we can place her by tomorrow. The father is allergic. What kind of person? Hey there, you lucky woman. Going to California. Cruise the strip, hang out on Frank, all the cool shut beaches. Up. You think I like to do this? Doing what? Euthanize a perfectly healthy animal because somebody's allergic to it. Euthanize? Put an animal to sleep because it barks too much or you're just kind of tired of feeding it. Just because a cat scratches the furniture seems like a really dumb reason to kill it. And going to California is definitely not a joke, Frank, okay? Sorry. I know. I know you're sorry. It's just that it gets on my nerves sometimes. Oh, would you please have Ray call this lady about the parrot? She's driving me crazy. I already got rid of her. Yeah, well, somebody should tell her. If she doesn't hear today, she's coming in here again. Just have him call her. He should be in room 40. Bigger than just you and me now. But it'll be all right. Thought you were gonna wait for me. What happened? Pia. Yeah? When were you gonna tell me? Did you think I was stupid? What are you talking about? You just about? gonna leave me on the whole time? What, what, are, what are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about, Ray? Room 40, going to California. I don't think you're stupid. agreement that you weren't going to sell Homer anymore. Why, is he back? No. I figured you'd sold him to Daryl again. I didn't, but I don't think he's coming back anyway. Mom, can we get another animal? You're kidding, right? 
we're having a hard enough time taking care of ourselves, and you want another animal? Well, I'll take care of them, and Ray said it was okay if you don't mind. I mind. I just, it's just, I don't think we can take care of him properly. Just tell Ray no thanks. Please. No! Frank, come on, we're talking. No, Mom, you're talking. Thought you were supposed to be at lunch. I had work. You're popping out the motel, huh? It's not a motel anymore. Frank, listen to me. We got more animals here than we can properly care for. We don't want them to starve to death. And what about the ones that are so sick that they can't be cured? The only humane thing to do is to put them to sleep. Understand? What about these two? They did them already. You know, I'm missing a cat, too. I think I'm losing my mind. Why don't you take the rest of the day off, huh? I'm all right. I'm going to walk the dogs. Can I take the parrot outside? Minsky clipping? No, she says she doesn't need to. He's too old or somebody bit him or something. Well, it wasn't me. Roof, 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 roof. There's a truck. I gotta go. or something. I saw the ambulance and your cart was all smashed. Died? No, that was nothing. I have your parrot. He was real sick at first, but he's okay now. 
I have him at the shelter. Who is this adorable fur person? That's Bosky. Oh, hi, Bosky. Bosky, is Francis your friend? <laughs> Somebody left him at the shelter because he sheds or something. I have to find him a new home. I do it for as many animals as I can. It's sort of a special job, you know. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Well, Francis, it sounds like it's sort of a big job. Yeah, but everybody loves animals, so it's no big deal. And me and my mom and my dad have this really big place so I can keep them myself. Until I find a home that's just right for them. Well, and Bosky Dog, does she have a home yet? But your parrot, there's this woman who the thinks she's hers. The parrot will and... be fine. Are you giving him a seat? Yeah, but... Good. Now, you were very smart to come and find me. Hey, Francis. Here. This is for the animals. Go out and buy them some good, nutritious food. Tell them it was from Doris. Whenever you need me, I'll be right here, riding the ponies. Come on, Bosky Dog. Do you like feta and tomato? Who loves me loves my dog, right, Francis? <laughs> Come on, darling. Let's go catch up on another sunset. Bye. Okay, take it easy, guys. Uh-oh, red alert! Hey, Frank, what you doing out there? Come on in here, I need your help. Okay, you guys, keep quiet in here. Be right back. I'm coming, Ray. No, I, I just don't think a dog is going to get it, Raymond. All right, then. What about a cat? Oh, a cat. What do cats do? Nothing. I got to have something with personality. Yeah, but dogs and cats are what we got to place. That's why we're busting at the seams. There's plenty of time for that garden variety stuff. To start this off with a bang, I got to have some something like that. Yeah, well, the, that's a special cat. Ah, is it sick or something? No. Uh, Ken Banyan, animal specialist, Channel 5. Frank Phillips. How you doing, Hank? Uh, bird talk, do stuff? Yeah, he's real smart. Perfect. Liz, what's her name? Look, we're set up out front. Why don't you bring her out front and show us what she can do? Helen, <coughs> want to come in and put some makeup on the kid in case we use him in a shop? This is going to be perfect. Listen, we'll do a dog next week. We'll do a cat. We'll do a salmon. Not me, sweetheart. The kid. The kid. Wait a minute. <laughs> How do I look? Fabulous. All right. Guys, let's go. Oh, yeah. I love this business. Ow! Oh, what a jerk. The sad fact is, only 20% of the nearly 20,000 animals that visit this shelter each year ever get adopted. Close to 16,000 were euthanized at this facility alone last year. Which brings me to this talkative little girl and this week's feature, abused and battered blue-fronted parrot taken from the wilds too young and who will never fly. Polly, want a cracker? Uh, Polly want to talk? <laughs> she talks, right, Hank? Huh? Nay, Frustrum. Whoa, I hope we can say that on the air. What, is, what does that mean, Hank? It's Greek to me. It means Elvis lives. Elvis lives? Fantastic! And you heard it first right here. Okay, cut. Got it? <laughs> Fabulous. Raymond, you're going to get a thousand calls. We'll air this next week. You want to get this bird off me, huh? Come on, come on. Jeez. Great job, kid. Great job. All right, guys, let's load it. We got another remote to do today. What's going on, Ray? bird can't be adopted, what about its owner? We haven't heard from her. She's a bag lady. She's probably not coming back. Doris! I don't know about that, Ray. Don't worry. You won't get adopted. Want some apple? Holly uh, wants pizza! Uh. Maybe some seeds? Listen to the crickets. 
found this in your purse. Ah. You don't own the parrot, do you? Every living thing owns itself, Francis. We're here just to lend a helping hand. You should have known it wasn't your bird. You lied to me. I never lied to you. I said, trust yourself. Follow your heart. What does it tell you? It hurts, and it says, please help me. got a call from Ray. Of course, you probably didn't hear that. He said that he's got a parrot that he thought we could adopt. You're kidding. But you're probably too busy. What do you... He said you're the only one can feed him. Can we? Not until you prove to me you can take care of things. Mom, I... You, to... you told me you were Daryl's last night. I was. You weren't. I called. You weren't there. You are never home. Neither are you. That's because I work. So do I. Now, you listen to me. They can take you. Now, they cut you a deal, you know, but you go jumping out of windows in the middle of the night, and they can take you away from me. I couldn't live with that. I told Ray that I'd let him know in a week. A week? I want your room clean. And I want some help. One week, Francis. One week. And the doors in this house are not to be locked. Deal? Deal. Hey, babe. Where's Ray? My, you are looking fine. You've got to be kidding me, Francis. <laughs> Ray's getting his hair cut because he's got a big weekend. I heard you got to keep the parrot. Yeah, if I'm good. It shouldn't be too hard. Well, I guess I can't go out with you for another week. You're so weird, Frank. Like, I'd go out with you. Oh, um, would you take Lucy into the clinic to get her shot? She's been adopted. My dog has three legs. You'd adopt a three-legged dog. There's a home for everybody, Francis. Maybe they wanted something that wouldn't chase their three-legged cat. Hey, oh, wait, um... Tell Ray he's got to call this woman. Frank! In sports, the International Basketball League was busy last night with seven games on the schedule. The Cavaliers came up with a surprise upset. Ray. Who's there? Ray. What are you doing here? Pia told me you'd be here. Where is he? Where is who? Virgil. He's not in his cage. Of course he's not. He was barking like a dog, and I couldn't get any work done, so I put him in with the dogs. You shouldn't have done that, Ray. Well, excuse me. Next week, you can do what you want to. In the meantime, I got an operation to run. He barks like a dog. He stays with the dogs. not funny. A week. That's all we've got. It's one week. Don't worry, guys. I'll get you out. I promise. I promise.
big guy. Hey. Come in. Did you steal my mirror? Ray, that's not gonna do any good. You're gonna be just as ugly. <laughs> missing mirrors, missing animals. I tell you, I think I'm missing my brain cell. <laughs> Where's the boy? He was with the cat. He was upset. Yeah, I don't blame him. I tell you, we're getting so overcrowded, I may have to put down another 20 tomorrow. Yeah, I sent him home. I thought it was best. You know what? You're as smart as you are old. What do you say we have dinner tonight, huh? Just the two of us. Dutch. Well, you're as sweet as you are cheap, my frog prince. And you, no parties while your mama and I are out, okay? Good night now. Prince Law. Sleep tight. Party time! Magnus, Doctor, Est. California, there they go. Chicken. Ray wanted you to send this to that lady. The one who keeps calling says it's real important. Somebody died or something. Ray wrote a letter. Hey, Ray. I gotta talk to you. What are you doing in here? I just don't see why we have to run that pet of the week thing if I'm gonna adopt a parrot. Look, I already told you. When the people call in, we're going to tell them the parrot has been adopted. That way, they may take one of the dogs or the cats. Ray, there's some pretty creepy people out there. Well, then we'll tell them that the bird died. I just don't see why I can't take her today. Look, it's good public relations for the shelter, okay? We're trying to save the dogs and the cats. Uh-huh. So we want the people to be interested in taking them. Now, you leave it up to old Ray. If Mom gets in touch with me, then you can get the bird. You hungry? Huh? Want a hamburger? Piece of pie? Pie? Uh -huh. Hey, Ginger. Yes. What kind of pie you got? We have banana cream, we have coconut cream, we have chocolate cream, we have lemon cream, we have lemon meringue, we have apple, we have cherry, we have raisin, we have meat, meat we have pumpkin, we have Boston cream. Banana cream. We have raisin, we have He says meat. banana cream. I've got to go to work, Francis. Bye, Mom. I got you something. Just one more day, Frank.
Hey, Mom. Thanks. Now remember, if anybody calls, just... If anybody calls, I'm gonna say, I'm sorry, the parent's been adopted. Yeah, and, and if anybody even just wants to see the bird or get on a waiting list or anything. I'm gonna say, that's impossible. Because the owner saw it on Channel 5 and came right in and took it to South America. Yeah. Okay, now what if... Frank, has it occurred to you I have work to do? Minsky needs me in the clinic. Ray's investigating a cruelty complete and we're almost closing. Please, help me out. Hi, we're not too late, are we? Uh, no, you want to adopt a pet? Well, actually, we want to leave some. Now, Willie, we've talked about this. The mother was hit by a car. She wasn't our pet or anything. She just chose a tire in our garage to have her litter, or well, whatever you call it. Now, Willie, we just can't take care of them. We'll take care of them. What will happen to them? Uh, well, Willie, we'll keep them for a week, and then... And then what? Well, and... And then they'll find homes for them. You just ask the man. That's what they do in the shelter, don't they? I'll find him a home, I promise. Thanks, mister. Okay, let's go ahead. Holly wants the cracker! Oh. Why couldn't you say that on television? Don't worry, she won't watch. Tomorrow morning, you're coming home with me. Oh, he won't hurt you. He just thinks he's a dog. But we gotta hurry. My man's gonna be on the tube tonight. We got some serious work to do. He probably doesn't even have a television. Showtime! Understanding, she'll make some lucky person a loving and faithful companion. Call the adoption hotline number now. That's 555 L O V E. Companion Animal Specialist Channel 5. She's waiting for you to give her a name. Yes, Animal Hotline. I just saw my missing bird. Security? Van Boren's here. I hear noises in the garage. Yes, as soon as you can. Thank you. Good evening, Francis. Well, isn't it as a coincidence? I've just been thinking about you, and now here you are paying a sympathy call. It was nice to see Virgil on this evening's news, especially after receiving your touching note describing his death. Really, <laughs> Francis, you are laughable. Internal injuries from eating a potato? Are you all right, lady? I see you brought the bird. All I'm missing is the ring. Oh, what happened there? And now, Francis, my bird. It's not your bird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. I see you found my door, Frank. Breaking and entering, fraud, intent to deceive, malicious mischief, theft. A court-appointed attorney will contact you within the week, Mrs. Phillips. The court date is officially calendar six weeks from today. I'll hold a preliminary hearing in two weeks. I'm so sorry, Your Honor. I'll do whatever you want. I suggest you monitor him closely. I needn't tell you how serious this is. 
if he gets into more trouble, if he pleads guilty or is found guilty, he'll be taken from you and placed either in a corrections facility, state custody, or foster care. Well, what about the animal shelter? Shelter's no longer an option. I'll call Ray Whitney today. You let us all down, Frank. Let's hope we can sort this out without too much pain. I left my hat at the shelter. Hat? Hat? Maybe you should think about Ray for a minute. He stuck his neck out for you in that bird. He cried when I told him what was going on. He didn't cry, Mom. Let's get in the car, please. Where's my stuff? In the back. Hey, lady, you're a real optimist. It's the only way to live, dearie. Go for it, Francis. I'll come right home. I'm waiting right here, but I have to talk to Ray. You get your hat, you apologize to Ray, and you're home, Francis. Am I making myself clear? Crystal clear, Mom. Calm down, Mrs. Barton. Your Phoebe will be just fine, okay? Please. Um, Frank, the, uh... The parrot is, is really sick. I'm sorry. Hello, Frank. How's he doing? Well, yesterday, I would have said he could fly away. Today, something's wrong inside. He's a very old bird, Frank. Things could change in a hurry. Is there anything I could do? He saved him once. I think you should just say goodbye. You want to talk to Minsky? I'm sorry for that. I'll tell Ray you're here. Guess you thought you'd be coming home with me today. Screwed up pretty bad. It doesn't matter now. It's just an unfortunate mistake, Miss Beth Borens. Mistake? Yeah, my mistake. They won't let you feed pigeons in the park when I'm done with you. Wish we could just fly away from here. boy is not to go near my bird. The boy's attached to give him a minute. Get my bird. I've been waiting long enough. Don't worry, you'll be okay. She's here, Frank. I gotta take the bird now. Guess I'm not gonna be here anymore either. We'll talk about that later. Ray? I'm sorry. <sighs> Is this a joke? Has Virgil picked up a bad habit? No, lady, it's not a joke. Listen, that kid brought that bird back to life. I just hope he didn't ruin his own in the process. Just put the bird back in my cage. I'll tell you something else. Barkin's a whole lot better than what you taught him. That kid had half a chance he could have taught that bird to fly. Virgil, what have they done to you? Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Why don't you just take the bird and go on home? Francis Phillips is going to regret the day he was born.
We'll stay out here tonight. Nobody ever comes out here. We'll find Doris tomorrow. Here, this is the perch I made you when I thought you were going to come home with me. I haven't been in this place since the Great Chinchilla Adventure. Before your father left. Oh, what a dreamer your father was. Hi, Mom. Tell me what's going on. I got a call from Ray, asked if you were here. Well, I'm definitely here. I can see that. This whole thing's beginning to scare me, Frank. You know, you're gonna have to give the bird back. Yeah, I suppose so. Frank! I figured I'd find you here. Son, you gotta give up the parrot. It belongs to Mrs. Van Boren's. Those animals? Are those dogs, Frank? Frank, what are they doing here? Hiding. Stay still or they won't come. So this is your motel, huh? Your own shelter. Frank, you're a terrific person. But I'm sorry, they gotta go back. Oh, Sharon, can I use your phone, please? Of course. Thanks. Well, well, well. The chickens have come home to roost. It's going to be all right. Mr. Whitney, get my bird. All due respect, Miss Van Borns. Why don't you get your bird yourself? Oh, Virgil, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. I'm not going to allow anything more to happen to you. You really thought you could escape from me. You stay away from my son. It's okay, Mom. I knew I would catch up with you sooner or later. You should have taken my offer. But now, look at this. The judge thought you would improve. He thought that leniency was the way to help. I can spot a loser every time. I never deal lightly with losers. And you, Francis, are a loser. They said you hadn't really done anything wrong. I wonder what your precious little judge thinks of you now. Truancy, stealing my parrot, breaking an entry, and now stealing all of these animals. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. What wasn't that? They were gonna die. I didn't steal them, I saved them. They were gonna die. I had to save them. And I didn't steal Virgil. He left. On his own, he left. I just wanted him to be happy, and he wasn't happy before. He'll be happy when he learns to do what he is told. People like you always encourage this sort of behavior. It always starts this way. Right, Virgil? Beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. You. I should have known it was you all along. No, Victoria, it was the boy. He understood what was written in Mother's Ring all along. Look around you. It's the gift of life. It's our responsibility to love them, to take care of them, to protect them. Embrace it, Victoria. Have you forgotten Mother's love for all animals? Amor magnus doctor est. <laughs> Sentimentality. Just like Mother. Weak. Beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. You're insane. Starlight in dewdrops are waiting for thee. I love this girl. My dearest sister, if you truly love something, you must let it go. Ah, oh, another sermon. Virgil, come to me. Virgil, come to me. No, don't want to. Virgil, he won't come to me. Goodbye. Why isn't he afraid of you? He's afraid.
friend. He just wants to be loved. Be loved? Be loved? Don't mock me. He's your bird now. No, he's not mine. He's yours. Just take good care of him. Francis. Here. You take care of this. You understand it. I never did. What does it say? Love is the greatest teacher. Thanks for the lesson, Frank. You got it. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? Real good. I'm so proud of you. When you knocked on my door Broken and lost It took all of his strength not to cry and Though I may have mended your broken way He gave me the courage to fly When you ran to my arms You were hungry and dry And as fragile as a newborn foe and though I may have offered my helping hand, you gave me the key to my soul. You gave me courage. You filled my soul and you taught me how to give. I gave you shelter, but you made me whole and you gave me a reason to live. Came in my life, I was needing a friend, and the healing that a friend could give. And though you never had intended to give one thing, you gave me a reason to live. You gave me courage. Oh, you filled my soul. You taught me how. gave you shelter but you made me whole and you gave me a reason to live you needed shelter you needed rest you were so weak and so who could have seen it could have guessed I needed you so much more you gave me courage yes you filled my soul you taught me how to give I gave you to live you gave me reason to